said the small voice fairly. Maybe Dumbledore doesn't choose prefects because they've got themselves into a load of dangerous situations. Maybe he chooses them for the uh, uh, Harry opened his eyes and stared through his fingers at the wardrobe's clawed feet, remembering what Fred had said. No one in their right mind would make Ron a prefect. Harry gave a small snort of laughter. A second later, he felt sickened with himself. Ron had not asked Dumbledore to give him the prefect badge. This was not Ron's fault. Was he, Harry, Ron's best friend in the world, going to sulk because he didn't have a badge? Laugh with the twins behind Ron's back? Ruin For the first time, he had beaten Harry at something. At this point, Harry heard Ron's footsteps on the stairs again. He stood up, straightened his glasses, and hit the grin onto his face as Ron bounded back through the door. Just caught her, he said happily. She says she'll get the clean sweep if she can. Yeah, yeah. Harry said, and he was relieved to hear that his voice had stopped sounding hearty. Listen, Ron. The smile faded off Ron's face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought it would be you. Nah, I've caused too much trouble. Harry said. Once you know it, once you know it, ma. Yeah, I suppose. Well, we've been trapped, haven't we? It was odd how widely their possessions seemed to have scattered themselves since they arrived. It took them to find them. Can't find them. 